Are you trying to figure out what your competitors are doing in Google ads, but don't want to pay a fortune for paid software that really isn't completely accurate and up to date? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you two free resources that are absolutely amazing at discovering things that realistically most people don't know about and will allow you to one, come up with new ideas for ads and also figure out what your competitors are doing on Google ads. By the way, if you're experienced with Google ads, you'll probably recognize the first resource. However, I don't think you will recognize the second resource. I'm very curious to figure out how many of you actually knew about the second resource. So if you did know about it, leave a comment down below. And even if you didn't also leave a comment down below, I'm just curious to know how many people actually knew about this resource. This is new to me. And honestly, I didn't know about it for a very long time. Uh, but I think it will help out a lot of people. Now on with the video. Now let me say that I am not a massive fan of stealing stuff outright, because most of the stuff on Google ads is really it's not that good. And that's the main issue with trying to steal people's ad copy, trying to steal people's keywords, just because they're running on Google ads doesn't mean they're doing a good job of running on Google ads. So please make sure before you copy anything or, you know, customize it for yourself, please make sure that you test it on the actual small side first, then scale. Don't take a ad that, you know, maybe one of your competitors are running, essentially rewrite it for your own company and then expect it to work. Every industry is different. Every competitor and marketplace is different. So I always say test small and then scale, make sure the data data follows you correctly. Otherwise, you're going to have big problems. Again, like I just said, just because someone is using it on Google ads does not mean it is good. I have seen numerous companies spend thousands of dollars a month on just terrible ads, they waste a ton of money. And there's absolutely no return whatsoever. And I mean, getting less than five leads a month on, you know, $10,000 in ad spend, this boggles my mind, but people will continue to spend money just because they think maybe they're going to get something out of it, even though they're not. So please make sure that you are following the data, it will help you so much in the long run. Now onto the first resource. And the very first resource is going to be the auction insights, which is a common feature in Google ads. And I'm shocked by how many people actually have never used the auction insights in Google ads. It's very useful for figuring out changes in your account. If you go into your account and you see a massive change, maybe the average cost per lead has gone up significantly and you don't know why. Well, what you can do is go into the auction insight report and see if there's any new competitors on the map. And maybe someone came into the market, they're willing to spend a whole bunch of money. And that's why your average cost per lead has gone up so much. In that case, there's a few changes you can make. And really depends on your scenario, maybe create new ad groups, maybe try and change the actual matchup of your keyword, there's a whole bunch of actions you can take. But the information that's going to allow you to make those changes up front is available in the auction insight report. And this is where you can view all of your competition, at least the competition that is very close to you, it's not going to go through every single competitor that's betting on every single keyword, but it's going to give you a pretty good idea of the competitors that are right next to you in this actual auction system. And keep in mind, Google ads is an auction system. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into play when coming up with cost per clicks. And maybe just because a new competitor comes in doesn't mean your cost per lead immediately shoots up. So don't be scared right off the bat. But this is a great way just to monitor changes in the actual Google ads auction. Again, just to keep more information, more information in this perspective is very good because you're going to be able to make more changes. Now I'm going to show you the Google ads auction insight report. And it looks like this. And as you can see here, this is an old Google account we ran, we were doing marketing for our own company using uh, search funnels and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, and we really wanted to test out how broad match was doing. And this was back in 2021. Honestly, broad match didn't do too bad of a job. But honestly, we found that you could get much better results with phrase match and exact match even in the marketing domain. But as you can see here, these were the competitors we were against. And we have these two that are above us and these three that are below us. And as you can see, this is us. So our impression share was below 10%. We weren't spending a lot on this. Again, this was more of a test. And as you can see, this is the impression share. So this is the amount of available times we we're eligible to come up versus the amount of times we actually came up. So out of the 100 times our ad showed up, we appeared less than 10%. Our competition appeared 12%. So you know, 12.93 times out of 100. This company appeared 15.93. 0.9 times out of 100. Now there are some interesting statistics that really you should look at when you're in the auction insights report, I'm going to go over every single one of these just so you know what they are. Some are a little bit more important than others. But I think it's a good idea that everyone get the idea of what each of these things actually represent, just so you know, in advance in the future of what you're actually looking at, the more stuff we can understand in Google ads, I think the better we can actually perform because we know what levers and actual data statistics to look at and what things matter 
and what things don't matter as much. But I'm going to go through all of these. Overlap rate essentially means how often are we appearing together? So out of 100 times, how many times are we appearing together? So out of 100 searches, we're getting 18 times our company and this company are showing together 26 times out of 100. Uh, this company and our company is also showing up. Now, when we look at position above rate, this company, whenever we show up together, is showing that 60% of the time they're going to appear above us under the position above rate. That's essentially what that means. How often do they appear above us? This company is showing up 60% of the time above us. This company is showing up 86% of the time. Now, we are appearing above them at some point in time, uh, but it's not very good for most companies. I would want to, that rate to be significantly lower because we want to be, you know, the best company in the industry appearing the most, getting the most amount of leads in. Uh, but budget doesn't always allow for that. And as you can see here, our budget was very low in this. And uh, we were still appearing above these companies. And these are very large companies. We were very small at the time. So uh, this is still not terrible, especially in marketing, which is super, super competitive. So keep that in mind. Uh, top of page rate. And essentially, this is how often we showed up at the top of the page. And we showed up at the top of the page 55.53% of the time, which is pretty good, I would say. Uh, absolute top of page rate means the number one position for because you have three positions at the top. Uh, how often we did we show up in the absolute number one spot, we showed up at 12% of the time. So again, 12.76 times out of 100. And now this is outranking sure. And this is another factor that you know, you should look into and just take into account and keep it in the back of your mind, I would definitely jot it down in our optimization checklist. Uh, that's something you can pick up for free, it walks you through everything you should be doing on a weekly, monthly and three month basis inside your Google Ads account, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. And it allows you to check mark and list down all of the relevant data that you're going through on a weekly, monthly and three month basis. Some of the relevant data I would look into is definitely listening down the competitors, seeing what the impression shares are like, just to make sure you have a copy of this that you can fall back on and go, yep, this is something that uh, clearly another competitor came onto the market, and we were able to overtake them or, you know, mitigate costs or give a reason why costs went up and how we can solve that. Uh, it's just a nice thing to know, especially having that data in the back end and making sure you're just watching it and keeping a, a watchful eye on it. Now, the last statistic we can look at is the outranking share. And essentially what this means is what percentage of the time did we outrank our competition here? And as you can see here, 4.48% of the time we placed in front of them and we outrank them, which is very good and something we want to continuously improve on because we want our ads to be above everyone for the most part. And that's something definitely to look at when you're looking at certain costs. If your costs are really high, this could be a, you know, a quality score issue. And maybe you just need to change your ad copy up, make sure your keywords are more relevant. There's a lot of stuff you can do. But with this information, you're going to be able to make a better decision on what you should do in the future and how to essentially game plan for the future. Now, now the second resource, and I don't think most of you guys will actually know this or have heard of it, it is called adstransparency.google.com. And essentially, it's a feature inside Google Ads that allows you to type in a certain keyword. So say you're in the HVAC industry, you could type in HVAC services near me, you could type in fiberglass pools near me, whatever it is, whatever keywords you're going to be bidding on, you can type this in, and then you're going to be able to actually click on the actual ad your competition is using, and then it's going to pull up all of the actual ads they're running, which is really cool because you're going to be able to see what one their ads look like, you're going to get a couple ideas of what the actual keywords they are bidding on, and really just get an idea of what they're doing, how many ads they have, and just to get a good overall feel of what they're actual doing. A lot of paid services and software, they attempt to pull some ads, but they don't have all the data behind it, they make very good guesses. But again, at the end of the day, they don't have all the data Google has Google has a lot of data, and I tend to favor it over over all of the third party resources. Yes, they can be absolutely excellent when it comes to predicting things and looking at certain metrics. But again, it's not as relevant as I would find Google Ads is just because Google Ads has the primary source of data everywhere else does not. So they're making guesses for the most part. That doesn't mean they're bad. I'm just saying I would trust Google over the third party resources. Now I'm going to actually show you on my screen how to pull up ads transparency. And all you have to do is type in a certain keyword. So for this one, I typed in fiberglass installation, Home Depot came up. So we're going to click on Home Depot, as you can see here. And right beside Home Depot .ca, it's a little tough to see there's three dots here, we're going to click on this. And what you can see here is Home Depot of Canada, which is fine. Home Depot is a company here in Canada. If you didn't know that they're a do it yourself at Home Depot, they essentially sell hardwood, they sell all sorts of things, nuts, bolts, uh, fiberglass insulation, also, 
but essentially they sell a whole bunch of stuff when it comes to uh, home renovation. And what we can do here, and this is for any company, by the way, when you're going through Google, you can see the actual advertiser who's advertising and the location they're actually advertising in. And what we can do is hit see more ads, as you can see down here, and we're gonna click on this. And what this is gonna do is bring up adstransparency.google.com, as you can see here in the top left corner in our URL. And we can see Home Depot of Canada is the one that is actually advertising. They are verified as based in Canada. I'm gonna show you a little bit more, but I kinda wanna just scroll down and show you guys what is in store for you you can see all of these headlines you can see that some of them are dynamically generated based on the landing pages uh there are so many ads these guys are running and they are a massive company so that's why they're running so many ads by the way if you're looking at this and you have no idea how to actually write ads we have a free online video that shows you our three-step process to writing ads that sell really maintaining ads that have good copy and making sure they're getting high quality scores this video will show you how to do that ensure your ads are getting the best results possible i'll link that video up below just in case again you're not very familiar with ads and ad creation that video is certainly something you may want to consider watching they have twenty thousand ads you can sort by most recent uh you can look at the actual time and date so you could adjust this for the last seven days last 30 days I believe 30 days is the absolute maximum you can look at the actual ads, but this is still going to give you a very good idea of what your competition is doing and give you a good idea of what their ads are looking like and just give you a better idea of what you can expect from Google ads. You can also sort by location, just click on the actual button here and then go from there. You can look at all formats, so image, text, video. Really, it allows you to look at whatever this advertiser is running, which I think is great if you're struggling to one, come up with new ideas and two, just to check out what your actual competition is doing and making sure that you're doing better than them for the most part. Most of the time I look at these ads, they're not very good, so I wouldn't copy them. Uh, but there are some times that I see an ad, I'm like, that's a great idea. I could change it like this and actually implement my own idea and it'd be even better. And I think that's a great tactic to do. I would not exact, I would not copy it outright. Google generally has problems with that. So please don't copy an ad outright. They will generally flag you for that. Uh, but if you want to change it up, put your own wording in it, just get a decent idea and then build off that. That's completely fine. Please don't steal outright. Um, and also please don't just click on other people's ads. That's not very nice. Uh, but it is a awesome resource for coming up with new ideas and for seeing what your competition is doing. Now I do have one big favor to ask, and that is for you to leave a like at the end of this video. If you got any value whatsoever out of this video, please leave a like. Thank you in advance for leaving a like. I put a ton of effort and work into these videos. And honestly, I like them so much better than my old videos. And if you left a like, it means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And I really do appreciate. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, and I want to come back to the comment I asked at the very beginning of this video, did you actually know about the second resource, Adge Transparency at Google.com? I don't think a lot of people did. I didn't know this very long ago. I learned this and I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know you could do that. And every Google advertiser I've asked didn't know you could do this. So uh, I think this is a great tool and I'm glad I discovered it and hopefully it helps you out a bit. But if you have any comments, questions or concerns, leave a comment down below. I will get back to you on that. You guys have a wonderful day and take care.